Welcome back everyone. This is my second game against this guy. In our first game, I played Kit against his Nerf Hub. Now it's my turn to play Nerf Hub. Um, this is my opening hand. Remember that I'm against Noise. Um, this is quite a marginal hand, but I still keep it. Why? Because it fits the paradigm of two ice and one money card. It only has one agenda, so I'm not too worried about agenda flood. And more, more importantly, it has the mid-seasons replacements, which is my one win condition card. The card that enables me to do all sorts of funny things like psychographics. So seeing it early is very important. If he attempts to steal an agenda early without any money, he will get punished. As such, I'm pretty comfortable with him coming to HQ. If I mean, the chance of him hitting the bill is low. If he does hit the bill, he's going to get mid-seasons. I'll force him to pay all his credits for that. So that should be worth it for me because I have the marked accounts. But he responds with a horrible opening play. Horrible for me, that is. It's very good for him. It's Lamprey. So I'm expecting he's going to run three times and he definitely does that. Sucking me down, down from six credits to three credits. Suddenly, my plan of mid-seasoning him is down the drain. Oh dear. Well, lesson learned. I sub HQ and R&D. I was very greedy by going for the single credit and that definitely worked against my favor. Oh dear. Yep, I definitely should have threw the other Galahad onto HQ. Um, so if he attempted to do the same play, I would have trashed his lab prey instead. Of course, um, well, better late than never, so I installed the Galahad on my HQ. I look pensively at my archives as I see the face up Astro script. If he runs there, I'm pretty screwed. And he does run there. And now he's up 4 points all of a sudden. But wait, he spent his entire turn installing Gorman Drip and Kitty Jones. He's down to 1 credit. He's down to 1 credit, and he doesn't know that I'm not playing Astrobiotics, I'm playing mid seasons. Uh oh, someone's getting a lot of tags. Ooh, that felt good. Um, he didn't even bother beating the trace, so looks like he's playing to keep all 6 tags. This could be good for me if I can draw my psychographics and get myself up to a respectable credit level. If I can get 4 credits and a psychographics, I can uh, PSF lock him. That would be pretty incredible, I must say. So, yes. So right now I just poke mark accounts for more money and gain more credits manually. It might be a mistake giving him Gorman Drip virus counters, but my only other option at this point was to draw more cards which would give him Gorman Drip counters regardless. It might be better to draw for cards, draw for the pet campaign, or mark the counts to fuel my economy instead of just clicking for credits. That could have been a misplay by me, but I'm very afraid of a gender flood. Right now he installs a Corroda, and that gets through Galahad very easily. Uh oh, I'm in trouble now. The bright side is that um, there's only one agenda in my hand that he can steal, and that's the PSF. If he takes the NAPD, he can't steal it, he only has 3 credits. And he'll have only one credit once he breaks through Galahad. He wasn't sure how Galahad worked, so um, we replayed that run. He uh, paid two credits to get through Galahad, and I gave him the access. But right now, I'm definitely looking... Uh, I'm very worried now. I'm really hoping for the Psychographics top deck. If I don't get it, um, my game is very hard. Let's just put it that way. Um, it's very hard to win against a noise that only needs two more agendas to win because virus milling is so efficient at getting the last few agendas. And of course, five cards in hand, he hits the one card that gives, gives him match point. Uh, I have nothing to say about that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much my win condition completely thrown out of the window. I really, really needed that PSF to <clears throat> combo with my psychographics. So I just clicked for credits. There was nothing better I could do at that point. Again, I maybe I should have drawn more cards. Maybe I should have put more eyes on HQ. But right now, I'm just very desperate for credits. And I think it's a big mistake for me to let him through HQ at the cost of 2 credits because he has Lamprey out. Which means that obviously, he is good. His, his HQ runs are very efficient. Because he's forcing me to lose credits, I need to gain them manually. That wastes my time. He's playing a very, very aggressive noise, not one that sits back and mills viruses, uh, mills through viruses. He's just going all out, and that's good. Um, he played to his hand, 
He has a Corolla and Lamprey and he made the full use of it. He has four credits exactly when he runs my HQ the second time and ninjas the NAPD to basically uh, crush me this entire game. Well, what can I say? Um, he played that perfectly, but on the same token, lots and lots of mistakes made on my part. For one, um, not putting any HQ ice was a big mistake. You think noises nowadays don't run siphon. Well, there's Lamprey, so you have to watch out for that. And yeah, um, I mean, sure he got lucky with the excesses, but it was only a matter of time because there was no way I could keep up with him. It was too difficult for me uh, once I had to start clicking for credits every single turn. You know that you are in a bad position when that happens. Also, maybe I should have mulliganed my hand after all. Against noise, I'm looking for a very strong burst start because you know that noise can easily cripple you if you don't have a good start. So I should have been looking for that sweet sweet or hedge fund to make my early game much more smoother. Even if that means losing my mid-seasons. Uh, yeah, I think those were the main mistakes this game. And there's a lot that I can learn from this. I think this deck is still pretty good. Maybe not against noise. Uh, there's not much in the way of defense against noise, especially since Grail Ice is so vulnerable to Parasite. Ultimately, it's fair to say my recklessness cost me the game. Thanks for watching.